Yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, I'll show you how you can add sticky add to cart button to your Shopify store pages for absolutely free. So this is very simple guys, and it will take you just a few minutes to set up this whole thing. So if you want to add sticky add to cart button to your Shopify store, the first thing you want to do is go to search apps and then uh, go uh, to the app store and just uh, look, uh, just type here, um, sticky add to cart this is just my demo store so i don't have there many apps and once you use look for sticky add to cart on the shopify app store just click on the seo and one seo and uh, sticky add to cart and then uh, install it it's 100 percent free so as you can see i've already installed the sticky add to cart app uh, onto my shopify store so i can just click on open app and uh, before setting this whole thing up, uh, maybe check if your theme has a built-in uh, sticky add to cart button feature because for example, this theme I'm using on this demo store has a built-in uh, feature for a sticky add to cart. Um, so I technically wouldn't have to use this uh, third party app, but if your theme, uh, most of the Shopify default themes don't have that feature, Built in, so if your theme doesn't have uh, the sticky add to cart button feature built in, uh, this app is your best friend. So uh, to set up this app, just scroll down, and the most important part for most Shopify store owners will be the mobile part because most people will shop on your store from mobile devices, especially if you use something like TikTok or Instagram or even Facebook ads most users will visit your store on mobile devices which is why the mobile settings is the most important but also if you use something like google ads or organic traffic uh, the, the desktop setting is also important so i'm gonna firstly set up the mobile settings so uh, what you want to select as your position is the bottom and then uh, these settings kind of depend on what kinds of products you sell if your products are for example very specific and you have more variants such as colors and uh, you know uh, it might make more, more sense to buy a larger quantity of that product then you might want to add these but if you sell like one very simple product i usually just keep the bottom as it is but if as i said if your product has more variants and uh, and uh, it might make more sense for people to purchase larger quantity, uh, you might want to enable all of these. So uh, I'm just gonna keep it very simple. I'm just gonna keep uh, the button as is, at least for mobile devices. And now uh, you can just uh, change these colors. So uh, I would choose a color you normally have on your Shopify store for other buttons. So. Uh, this could be any color, so you can just go to the theme settings and look for the colors you have in your Shopify store. But I'm just going to keep it purple as it is. And uh, the bar background color, this would sh this is uh, this color. So if you have there, uh, one of these enabled, then uh, you might also want to change the bar background color. And uh, these colors are also for these options so for example here is uh, the color for the product title i could change that as well but i think that um, uh, the gray and the white make a really good combination if you decide to enable one of these options and now of course you can change the font size um, uh, i necessarily wouldn't do that because most mobile devices aren't that large so you can keep this as it is and uh, also you can add there this urgency bar um, i think that it can boost up your conversion rate by quite a lot but um, i don't want to be that aggressive with my marketing and also it would take some extra space on that mobile device i will have a timer on my store but somewhere else not this sticky uh, sticky timer uh, so I'm not going to enable that, but it could boost up your conversion rate by quite a lot. Uh, you might want to select something like uh, 15 or 20 minutes uh, rather than uh, one minute or two minutes or well, there was for the animation. 
I usually select something like shake when my store is for like uh, one product that I advertise on TikTok. But if you want to be like less aggressive, you can just keep it without an animation. But the shake one with a loop is good. For example, if you if you are dropshipping on TikTok, so out of stock, um, you can keep all of these as they are. And I definitely wouldn't enable it on home page unless you have one product store. So now you can just click on save. And the next thing uh, we are going to do is uh, change the settings for desktop devices. So for desktop devices, you also want to keep it in the bottom. And uh, for desktop devices, it makes much more sense to enable all of these because the screen is much larger. So I'm going to keep all of these enabled. And again, you can change the colors. Uh, for example, here you could change the color for your button. And you can also change font sizes for uh, the specific text on that sticky add to cart. So for example, this font size is for the product title. I'm just going to keep it as it was. Uh, this is for price. Um, this is for the add to cart button. And this one is for the variance. Now on show after percentage scroll, I usually make it 30, but it also depends on how large the part of your product page with images is. So you might want to change that for mobile devices. I also make it 30%, but you have to test that for yourself because it also really depends on your theme and your product page itself. And uh, now you can uh, also enable here the real time urgency bar. Um, if I were to enable it, I would uh, more likely enable it on desktop devices because you just have a larger screen and it doesn't matter if it takes a little bit more space. And uh, for your animation, again, you can choose the same animations as you could on mobile devices. Um, I always uh, either select none or the shake animation. And yeah, you have here some other animations, but I just find them a little bit weird. So I'm just going to select shake and all of these, you can keep them as they are. You can change the colors for these messages, but uh, it's not that important because most people won't see them. And for confirmation, you can also keep it green. This will be what will show after people click on uh, add to cart and it will also redirect them to checkout. If you select go to checkout, which I recommend if you don't have that many products on your store, or if you don't have a uh, and upsells on the cart page. So I would select go to checkout for more st most of the stores and uh, you can keep the text as it is. So now I'm just going to click on save and you also have to enable the sticky add to cart over here on the top. So now you can just check out how your store looks. As you can see, uh, I'm in the preview mode, so I'm just going to hide the bar. And as you can see, um, yeah, the three percent scroll um, could be probably a little bit higher. So you have that you have to test that for yourself. And as you can see here, we have a sticky add to cart button on our Shopify store. And now, as you can see, when I click on it, it uh, makes this tag screen and it will redirect you to the checkout as we selected here. So I would like to probably make a the font size a little bit larger because it was uh, pretty small on on my screen. So I'm just going to make it a little bit larger. And for the confirmation, I will keep it as it is. And now I'm going to click on save and it should be perfect. Yeah, now it looks much better when the font is a little bit larger for mobile devices. Uh, if I actually were to sell this product, I would likely remove this urgency bar and instead I would uh, change this announcement to something like uh, our discount ends on the 12th of July or whatever and that way it would seem like more honest and instead I would use more of the quantity metrics for some uh, level of urgency for your customers so it wouldn't be as dishonest as offer will expire in two minutes or whatever. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you found it useful, I would be very happy if you left a subscribe on my channel. Uh, feel free to ask anything in the comment section. And uh, also I have a quick offer for you. 
I prepared a short uh, but very useful training, which is 100% free, where I show you why most people waste extra money on ads, the new AI leverage technique you can use to save hours. And I also include there some ChatGPT prompts for e-commerce business owners, free must have Shopify apps without which you won't be able to compete. And lastly, the biggest theme secret no web developer would tell you. And this free training is actually 100% free. There is no sales pitch for any course. So if you're interested in scaling and launching your e-commerce store, I would recommend you to click uh, the link in the description for that and watch that it's 100% free. So thank you for watching till the end and I will see you in one of my next videos.